We're gonna do the big reveal, guys. So get ready. Uh, there isn't any music, so I'm just gonna do it as is. Um, so let's get the box open. So this is the box that comes with it. And that's the, the jewelry box that goes with that. We're just gonna put it over here. So this is the case. This is what it is. That's what comes with it. It's nothing fanciful. It's just the case. So here we go. We're gonna open it up very slowly for everybody. And you guys can see the, uh, the piece. I'm just gonna make sure it actually looks right in the box. Oh, okay, let me just make sure it's straight. All right, that's straight enough. Okay, here we go. All right, is everybody ready for the big reveal? Here it is. So we're gonna open up the box. This is the Sekhmet collar. It's a replica of an ancient Egyptian collar uh, that was worn by the Egyptians. And I simply condensed it down to what we call a revival piece. And this is what you're going to see. It's 18 karat, yellow gold with rubies and diamonds. And the two eyes of pink diamonds. On the back, there's a gallery. So here we go, everyone. We're gonna open this up right now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to get as much light. Oh, I see it. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, for sure. We're going to do it. Here we go. And there it is. The big Sekhmet ne brooch. And there it is. Now we're going to explain to you the creation. I'm going to take it out. All right. So there it is, if you can get us see a close up of it. So this is 18 karat. This is the Sekhmet head on top with the solar dun disc and the Uri eye. And the body shape is where it basically resembles any collar worn by any Egyptian in any tomb. And there is a center cabochon right over here that basically is ruby. All the red uh, princess cuts are ruby. All the diamond princess cuts are down there. There's 23 rubies. There is 63 princesses gold, I mean in diamond. Now you may not see, but in the eyes, there is about over here about another 36 diamonds on top for the solar disc. The face of Sekhmet has two pink diamonds, light diamonds. And that is the body. You could see the thickness of the body right there. Let's turn it sideways. Now I'm gonna do a video of this, you won't miss anything. Thank you, no problem, my pleasure. Hello everyone. All right, so this is the brooch. Now let's turn it around. And this is a gallery. Now this design is basically been cut out and then put on the very back of the piece. Let's show you the segment head on the back here, you could see that's been lasered on to fit properly. And the back over here, this is a motif that would be worn for the floral. So it would be a floral look. It's a motif and it'd be put on the back, uh, be worn with basically flowers. What I did was put it on what we call a gallery. It fits a piece in the back, much like church uh, uh, arrangements that you would see at cathedrals. And what would have that look is you'd see uh, basically a flower motif that would run from the bottom. You could see the lotus flowers and the papyrus flowers, and that'd run all the way to the top. Now let's lift this up a little bit like that. You can see that's the pin that goes right over here. Let's see if you can see that's the pin. It goes like that, you see? That's the pin. And that's what would be worn. And now you can see I added a little bit of hieroglyphs in here. And that's something that works, that I love doing myself. Um, here we go. So down here you see Kepri, which is the scarab beetle. And he, basically there is the dew, the uh, rolling hill, and then the sun disc on top. So basically Kepri is rising and carrying the sun with him. And we know that Sekhmet is the eye of Ra, the vengeful eye of Ra, so she is associated with Kepri. And you have two humans here, two gods worshiping, I mean, two people worshiping Kepri as he rises. So that I added a little bit of hieroglyphs for myself over here. Now let's close this pin and turn it around. And here we go again. Now one thing I'm gonna explain before we were done with this video, I just want to show it to you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so. The Sekhmet head, you see this? This was a 3D scan from a statue at the Metropolitan Museum. It's a replica of a statue head of a full body. What I did was take the 3D print uh, design, 
chop off the body and just keep the head and the urea and incorporate it into the piece. So in reality, this is a replica of a statue, the head of a statue. I simply took off the rest of the body. And then what I did, it was printed, cast, uh, printed, cast it in gold and cleaned it. And then we set it. And now you have the brooch. This brooch weighs about 41 grams. And it has, let's see, I'm going to check the numbers here for you. It has 23 princess cut rubies, and it has another six, 39 princess cut diamonds, and 62 in total round brilliant stones. So this comes up to about 3.85 carats of diamond, and another 2.36 of rubies. All right, well, the 3D scans, you can find them on many different websites uh, that basically uh, scan the, uh, the statues at the, uh, the museums, so you can actually print out the copies yourself. So there it is. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to make a post about this. You'll see a full video of this, but I just want to share it live on this Sunday for Valentine's Day for everybody. Uh, this brooch basically is going to go into auction. Uh, I'm, approach I'm going to basically speak to the uh, top auctions in the... Uh, around the world, uh, most likely Christie's and Sotheby's, and we'll see if they'll be interested in a piece like this. And uh, that's it, guys. So I just want to share this with you, and uh, I know you guys all love Egyptology as much as I do, and this is the brooch that basically I made, and I'm very happy about it. So thank you, everyone, for uh, waiting for the anticipation. It's complete, and I'll be doing a post about this shortly, and you'll have the, uh, the piece uh, to look at through my posts and videos. So thanks again for watching, everybody. All the best, and take care. And I'll uh, see you next time for the next videos. I have to, hold on, let me put this back in the box here. Right there. No problem. Thank you, everybody, for jumping in. I'm glad you got to get to see the piece before everyone else. Take care.